Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So if you talk about the transformers, so here as well, instead of using a single encoder, we are using the multiple encoder. This is my encoder one. Then on the top of the one encoder, this is my encoder two. On the top of it, we have the one more encoder, which is the encoder three. Like these things, if you see the research paper, if you see the research paper, they mention that they mention that during the experiment, during the experiment, they found that n is equal to six is good. Okay. They found that in the encoder, in the encoder is comprised of a stack of the six identical layers. Okay. So this is what they mentioned here. So during the hyperparameter tuning, they found that that each encoder or, or you can say that in or the left part of the encoder is containing the six layer, six layer of the encoder. Then on the right hand side, we also have the series of decoders. Decoder one. Then we have the decoder two. Then we have the decoder three. up to my decoder 6. Okay. So in that scenario, this is my uh, uh, left portion, which is again a series of, uh, which is again a series of my encoders. And then on the right hand side, again, we have a series of decoders. Then after that, I am passing an input. For example, I am passing an input, which is like, uh, I am a student. And this input is processed in the series of the encoders. And from the last encoder, from the last encoder, we are generating some output. From the last encoder, we are generating some output, which will process to the each next, each next decoder. And then we are getting a output. Like for example, I want to convert this thing into the French. So it will be G so is 20. This is the output coming from the English to French. So the, the, the core concept here is that instead of taking the one encoder, first of all, it is very powerful as compared to the your traditional attention uh, or traditional encoder decoder. We are using a series of the encoders, series of the decoders. My input is processed in the multiple encoders. Then the last encoder is generate a output. And this output will process to the next decoders and then we get the output. So now if we talk about the each encoder, what we have in the each encoder. So now we have seen that all are the encoders. 
so what we have in this encoders so let's take the one encoder and one decoder so now i'm just explaining you that what we have in the one encoder and the one decoder so on the left hand side if i talk about the encoder let's take the first encoder it is not the traditional recurrent neural network guys this is the main thing that uh, we have to this is the this is the main thing which differentiate it from the traditional architecture it is not the traditional recurrent neural network the the, the word encoder is just to create the encoded output okay it's not the like you are you are traditional like you are using the recurrent neural network so in the encoder we have the two sub layers in the encoders again we have the two sub layers which is your self attention and your feed forward neural network one is the your self attention and another is the your feed forward neural network okay this is my encoder so this is my one encoder guys it's not the entire architecture this is my one encoder taking some output and the output the output coming from this encoder will process by the or this output coming from this encoder will be considered as a input for the next decoder so next encoder and this is the series of the encoder that we have on the right hand side if i talk about on the right hand side on the right hand side we have the decoder and in this decoder what we have is we have little bit one more layer uh, we have uh, in the in the case of the decoder we have uh, let me just So now on the right hand side in the case of the one decoder we have the self attention then we have the encoder decoder attention so this is the new things that we have we have the self attention then we have the encoder decoder attention then after that we have the feed forward neural network okay and then my have the output so we are getting these things as the input and the previous decoder so this is processed by and then after that we are just create the output and this output will become the input for the next decoder and if you see these things in the previous if if you see this the slide that i have was explaining here so we are taking the input from the my last encoder output and also i am taking these things from the previous decoder so for the each decoder for the each decoder we have the two input 
for the H decoder, we have the two input. One is the your previous input and another is the output coming from the last encoder. Okay, so that's why to process the to process the output from the last encoder, we have the encoder decoder attention. So this is the architecture that we have at the decoder side. So we have seen the encoder architecture, single one unit architecture and one unit decoder architecture. So this is how the output looks like. This is how the output looks like. If you see these things, let me just explain the things. This is coming from the like research paper itself. Either you can go to this research paper or you can go to this one. Both are same. They mentioned that the encoded component is a stack of the encoders. The research paper stacks six of them on the top of the each other. There is nothing magical about the number six. One can definitely experiment with the other, ar 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 other arrangements. The decoding component is a stack of the decoders of the same manner. Clear? Is this clear now? Yeah, okay, I will be checked there. Right, so they clearly mentioned that, like if you see in the research paper also, they mentioned that we choose the number six identical layers, and each layer has the two sub layers. The, if you see the two sub layers, this is the two sub layers that I have showed you, that each, each layer is contained the two sub layer which contain which is the first layer as self attention and the another layer is the feed forward neural network okay so this is what we have in this research paper thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today